Thank you. Thank you. So, the topic for today is designing LARP for multicultural participants. Or that's the uh, academic topic for today. And then I, when I made the top, this topic, I realized that most of you have had bare a few, so I made another topic. And the, the topic is the brave hobbits and Bollywood. I think that maybe it fits more for some of you. <clears throat> I work at uh, Leiwerkstaden in Westeros. Yeah, we're sitting in the Game of Thrones there, the LARP workshop. Uh, we work with LARP as an educational tool for kids and companies and, yeah, anyone who wants us. <laughs> you all know about the hobbits. The hobbits are strong. Uh, they uh, are really good at walking, eh? They're really good at walking and destroying rings. Yeah, and they are brave. They're really, really brave. I live in Sweden, which is a country that, fortunately enough, is a country that people flee to and not flee from. There are other peoples that are even more, even braver than the hobbits. There are people that, at the age of 10, start walking to Sweden. It's a walk from everything from between three to seven years old, seven years of walking. And when they come to Sweden, they are, of course, tired. They are alone. And some of them are really, really scared. So they need a Muppet holding their back. And they need a warm, nice welcome. And what do we do? We do what we do best. We do LARP. We do LARP. Because that is what we know how to do. I've been doing it for 25 years, so I know how to do it. I know how to design LARP, of course. But what I've come to realize during the many of those projects that we had with immigrants, kids coming to Sweden, is that I don't know. Because they come from a totally different culture, a totally different concept, context than we are. They don't know about Lord of the Rings. They never heard about Hunger Games. So how do you do? How do you design a LARP where 50% of the participants are Swedes and 50% of the participants are refugee kids from Afghanistan or Syria? And they're all in the, around the year of 18, 19, 20 years old? Well, you go to the source. The source to find good material to make a LARP from. And the best source in the world, I will give it to you now, the best source in the world to make LARP for this is Bollywood. <laughs> Bollywood. Because and, and this is what I realize, Bollywood is what Hollywood is for us. All of the Afghanistan kids know the Bollywood movies. And when I realized this, I was amazed. So I started watching Bollywood movies. And if you haven't, I, 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 oh, you should really do that. I, that's, they are amazing. They are amazing in so many ways. But, and there's something in every Bollywood movie. If it's a horror movie, if it's, a, if it's like the, the biggest drama, they all have one thing in common. Dancing and singing. <laughs> Dancing and singing. And this is what, what I want you to... to take with you, because singing and dancing is really, really important. Late night, we had a two-day two LARP. Late night, we had a big party. And some of the my co-organizers started to play some really old Swedish folk music, 150 years old. And suddenly, from all over the, the LARP, kids were running down, grabbing the drums, and suddenly, this old Swedish folk music were married with the beats of 
drums from Afghanistan, for dancing from Syria. And everyone was dancing and laughing and having fun. It was marvelous. I was standing there watching it and I had tears in my eyes because I was so happy. Mostly because of all of the racist people in Sweden would see this as the most horrible thing in the world, but <laughs> also of course because this, there was something magical happening here. This was the best design choice I've ever made. The choice to use music and dance as a tool in the LARP. So, two bullet points for you. If you're going to do multicultural uh, LARPs, watch Bollywood movies. They are great. Okay? Use music and dance as a tool. And not only as a small part of the LARP, but as an important tool. If we are doing a medieval LARP, we use rubber sword. That's an important tool for our LARP. I want us to start using music and dance as an equal important tool. Because music and dance tear down walls. Music and dance build bridges. That is what we need. Thank you for listening.